Hi, I'm Patrick Reynolds, and welcome to my studio. All right, we're going to start off with just a very, very simple technique. And this is something that people can relate to. This is going to be a simple eyeball. I'm going to show you how I utilize the charcoal. Now, this is on hardboard that I have already pre-prepared. And what I'm going to do is, everything that I do usually is a circle. Whether it be the human figure, whether it be a hand or an eye, you name it. Now, center of the eye is right here. And we're going to put this, let's say the pupil is right there. Okay, now we have eye lashes. This is, technique is called scrumbling. All of my work is literally made of scrumbling. Okay, now the light source is coming from this direction. Okay, so now I'm using the side of the charcoal. And there's the rest of the eyeball here. And here's Here's a pupil. I'm going to go ahead and just get that out of the way. I don't want any soft, I mean, I don't want any hard lines. So, and draw some of these different little angles in the iris here. Now, so now I'm going to have some shadows of the eyelashes that are on top. Eyelashes are very random. So, we've got some of the bottoms here. Not quite as heavy, but it's a pretty sunny day outside. So, I'm going to make it to where you will see this shadow. Now, this is an eraser, just a really simple eraser. And that is going to be where the highlight is going to be, right there. You can see that sun coming through, just like that. And okay. Now at this point, I'm getting the eye to where you can kind of see it coming in. but. Now I'm going to start darkening areas that would be casting a shadow across. The eyeball is like a piece of glass. Always try to consider that you're painting a giant piece of glass with reflections everywhere. Now, the way I do things is I kind of squint just a little bit and I'm drawing shapes. I'm not drawing an eye per se. I'm drawing the shape of an eye. So this is where the nose would be. There's the bridge of the nose right there. Now I'm going to assume that her eyebrow is up in here and it's going to follow that bridge of the nose right there. Okay, now. This is an inset, so it's going to be a little bit more shadowy than the rest. She's starting to take place now. She's starting to come about, and there's her tear duct area. Oh, right up in here. Now, because I did the tear duct, there may be a few tears in there. You just never know. There's big eyelashes that she has. All right, now, I'm going to sharpen up a few of these little shadows where there becomes less of a shadow and more of a reflection. 
that makes any sense. Now, here's the eye. And now I'm going to throw a little bit more pupil in there. I'm trying to somewhat center that pupil. We can tell she's looking out into something. All right. Now, the eye, the, the eye is generally a reflective piece of glass that the, the light comes in from this direction and reflects, it reflects from this side. So on this side of the eye is more of the true color of the eye. And on this side of the eye is actually more of a reflection of the color of the eye. So right here is, I'm gonna come back and get that reflection of the light right there. And then there is a tear duct right here that you can just barely make out. And there's a reflection right there. All right. And there she is. This is a scrumbled eye. I call it a scrumbled eye because I do not want it to be photorealistic. I just want it to be suggested. This is called gesturing. You know, no jester, but there she is. I think she's going to have a really good day. I hope that makes sense to you guys, and I'll see you next time.